Hey guys, Smith Boy here. Now today we're back with a brand new video. It's another away day for the Millers. Another away day in the championship and it is Hull away. Last time out for the Millers, we played against Cardiff. What on earth happened there? The game got called off in the 47th minute, just after half time, due to the weather. It absolutely chucked down. The pitch was unplayable, so the referee postponed the game. I'll literally insert photos on screen now, I come back from holiday literally just to go to that game and it got called off just after half time. I was absolutely devastated. To be honest though, it's probably one of the best things that happened to us that day because we was absolutely shocking. Last time out for Hull, they played against Reading and they drew 1-1. Well, interrupted. <laughs> Since then though, we've had an international break. Vizio Hansen got called up for Sweden. Ogbeni got called up for Ireland. Not only scored against Latvia, but got man of the match against France. Playing the likes of Mbappe, Olivier Giroud, Anton Griezmann, Hernandez, the lot. I can't believe he got man of the match. That is literally incredible. Not to forget, we had Bailey Wright that were called up for Australia. Uh, Leo Yelder called up for Norway under 21s potentially playing with the likes of Haaland in the first team. Let's move on to today's game. What do I think what's going to happen? If I'm honest, I'm not really expecting too much. I'm going to be completely honest. I hate to be a negative, but I'm going to make my score prediction now. I'm going to say a 2-0 loss, unfortunately. What do you think? Yeah, I can't imagine us getting anything from today. I'd be happy with a point, but anything better than then a, a massive defeat is, is good for us. And there's a rumour of a Reading points deduction as well. I've heard about that as well. Um, the Reading points deduction again puts them below us. Cardiff are below us. There's, team, there's plenty of teams worse than us in this division. I think this is the first time I've actually seen a Northern team compete in the championship. I do feel like we've got enough to stay up and I'd be surprised at next season as to what we can do. Get the badge in, up the Millers, go on. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there Players are now coming out for the second half. To be honest, that first half, it wasn't the best half I've ever seen. It was pretty boring to be part of this. There's only been a few chances. Vittio Anson with a great save once again. We just don't seem really dangerous in the final third, if I'm quite honest. We don't really look like scoring. Hopefully, we look a little bit more attacking in the second half. To be honest, I've taken it a little bit quite honestly. If it was to finish right now, I'd 100% take that. School fiction though, I still think it's going to be a loss for Robin. Maybe not a 2 0 as I originally predicted, but maybe a 1 0 loss. Robin players shooting towards the Robin away fans. Hopefully, that makes a little bit of a difference and we can shoot the ball into the back of the net. Bob the Millers, come on. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, I've got to go one move down there. They've hit the crossbar. They've 
rebound went well over the crossbar. Honestly, I think it was Peltier. It was at the other end of the pitch. I think it was Peltier who whacked it on the line. Fosu, go on! That's a free kick. The whole player lined up to take the free kick. Hopefully, they don't score. Hopefully, heads don't drop due to the sending off. And hopefully, we can sit back tight and probably get a goal from the counter attack. Not looking likely, I'll be honest. Surely not. Washington, 